with streaming and CTV, the increased importance of ad supported models is really here. I think a lot of us in the industry saw this coming that at some point you would hit some plateau on subscription, the competitive nature of all of these new streaming products, all going after subscription first is now led to the point where ad supported video on demand, as well as live streaming and fast channels have all opened up a wide variety of inventory types. So as a marketer, you really want to understand how you can take advantage of high quality audiences that are already optimized for using in CTV, as well as a marketer's first party data, and also being able to understand context, meaning um, everything that is potentially out there on streaming may not be the best fit for your brand, even if there's an audience in there that might be right. These kinds of decisions need to be made together. And I think that the industry has really come a long way in being able to provide tools and data sets that allow marketers and sellers to be able to look at these things and look at these variables together holistically and be able to use them in an automated way. And one of the key promises of CTV advertising is this ability to make adjustments quickly in real time, even uh, much quicker than it used to be with uh, linear television, although that's changing too. Um, so what can you tell us a bit about the flexibility and accessibility of CTV advertising? Yeah, CTV advertising, especially uh, with these platforms that have been developed by very large players uh, and pretty much everybody is creating them, right? I think uh, Roku did this first and everyone else is doing things um, in a similar fashion. But what it allows a marketer to do is to have an iterative process. You know, this notion of A-B testing creative in live campaigns, was it really something you did in video? Because uh, video production for TV commercials was like a mini TV show, right? It was high budget, it would take a long time, you get a really high octane production quality asset, and then that asset runs for X period of time. I think with CTV, what you're starting to see uh, with the direct-to-consumer marketers, for example, wanting to expand from digital social wall gardens into uh, CTV, you've got to be able to support them as a marketer, right? So if you're a performance-based marketer, but like the branding opportunity in CTV, you may try three different creative types for three different audiences, and now you're looking at nine permutations, and you want to be able to test how those creatives are performing, engaging, and, and selling all the way through, and then make decisions about increasing the scale for any one particular creative. And that really is something that uh, has come live with CTV that wasn't really there in linear. Now, earlier, you, you mentioned a lot of the changes that are happening with the new inventory becoming available. Everyone's uh, keeping an eye on Netflix and what it's going to have. Uh, we have other channels opening up. So looking ahead, what do you expect to see happen in the next six months to a year? Or, or what do, would you like to see happen? Well, I still think that even with Netflix inventory coming on, you're still in a, a supply constrained world. So being able to be efficient with CTV advertising, meaning uh, using audiences, using context as we discussed, being able to not have impressions being wasted with the wrong creative to the wrong audience. These things are gonna matter even more so um, because in a supply constrained world, the CPMs go up, right? So marketers are gonna wanna make sure um, that they're doing the right strategy, using the right automated tools uh, so that they can be efficient. And sellers, of course, don't wanna have to run extra impressions to make a certain campaign's contract terms good, right? They want to be able to deliver them um, with the highest amount of performance with the least amount of impressions because then they can create more inventory for more advertisers, right? I mean, think of the hundreds of thousands of advertisers who are not yet on CTV, right? To be able to accommodate those new types of advertisers, all of these factors come into play. <laughs> 